Spoiler alert, Real Madrid are going to win the UEFA Champions League this season. And that's not a mere prediction, it is a fact. Yes, number 15 is going to be in the hands of Los Blancos this season, and it will happen in the most interesting and dramatic way that anyone could imagine. It'll be in a way that truly showcases football heritage, and by the end of this video, we are quite confident that you two will share our opinion. So get ready as we delve into Real's road to the Champions League semi-final where they currently are, the season they're currently having, the obstacles in their way, and how they'll circumvent them to win Europe's top prize once again. And say by chance Real lost against Bayern in leg one of two this week, our prediction remains. Real win it all. Before we dive into the video, we want to say thank you to the over 300 subscribers who have joined us in the past month and helped our channel grow. Wow, we are speechless, so please hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you'll never miss another shot at watching the most amazing football videos on the planet. Now let's get to the spoiler, Real Madrid wins again. Nothing gave away Real Madrid's clear intentions to win the Champions League quite like the way they started the tournament. Real Madrid picked up 18 points from 6 games, winning every single match. The only other team that achieved this feat in the group stage was Manchester City, and we'll get to them soon. But Real had a tougher group that featured reigning Scudetto holders Napoli, Union Berlin who gave Bayern a race for their money last season, and Braga, a top team in the Portuguese league. Other than Leipzig, City had no real threat to their qualification. Real didn't just win, but they did so in great fashion, beating Braga 3-0 where Rodrigo, Vinny and Diaz got to score. They also beat Napoli 4-2 that saw goals from Rodrigo, Pass, Bellingham and José Lu. They beat Union 3-2 in their final group game. Following that, they beat Leipzig 1-0 and 1-1 respectively in the round of 16 clearing their path to the quarterfinals with the help of Brahim Diaz and Vinicius Jr. to face off against the winners of the Champions League last season, Manchester City. In a battle between the last two winners of this competition, it went to penalties after two legs, which Real Madrid won. It's worth noting that City's Bernardo scored the first goal in the 3-3 draw in the first leg. And for Real to bounce back and maintain their position defensively so as to not lose against the only other team that can beat them was a stunning performance of greatness. Lunin was exceptional, making key penalty saves to see them through. Man City was the only other team that was seen as a favourite in this competition. This was the third straight year that these two teams met in the knockout stages of this competition, and Real Madrid made it 2-1 head-to-head. Bellingham has been the standout star this season in the Champions League with about eight goal contributions. Vinicius and Rodrigo aren't far behind as well. It's worth noting that these exceptional performances aren't exclusive to the Champions League, but also in the La Liga season. Their flawless performances this season in La Liga will add extra context to why they are set to win the Champions League and reign as champions on the 1st of June 2024. Real Madrid currently reigns supreme in La Liga, boasting an impressive record of 84 points after 33 games, 26 wins, 6 draws and 1 loss. This translates to a strong win percentage and a comfortable lead at the top of the table, where they're more than guaranteed to come out of this season with the Spanish crown. The young trio of Vinicius Jr, Rodrigo Goes and Fede Valverde continues to shine. The addition of Jude Bellingham adds another dimension to their attack, evident in his early season goals. Experienced defenders like Antonio Rudiger and Ferlan Mendy provide a strong foundation at the back, while José Lu and Brahim Diaz bring the needed depth and rotational ability. Some of their best results this season include a 4-0 thrashing of Celta Vigo, a 4-0 win against title rivals Girona that saw Bellingham score two goals and Vinicius get two assists and a goal, a 4-1 win against Villarreal where Modric put on a masterclass performance for a player his age, 3-0 against Cadiz where Rodrigo scored two, 5-1 win against Valencia that featured braces from Vinny and Rodrigo, 4-0 against Osasuna with a Bellingham goal brace and Valverde assist brace that could have been 5-0 if José Lu scored his penalty, 3-0 against Girona earlier in the season, and so much more. Did we forget to mention midfielder and rising star Jude Bellingham ranks second in the La Liga scoring chart and might end up winning it overall? while Cruz and Valverde are in the running for the assist crown. With all this context, let's look at how it applies to the UCL. Real Madrid are up against a German tank, an unstoppable force in Europe that will blow them out of the water, Bayern Munich, right? Well, wrong. 
very wrong. Despite signing Harry Kane and Kim Min Jae, Bayern might be looking at the end of their streak of winning the Bundesliga as Bayern Leverkusen continue their fairy tale nearly unbeaten this season. Bayern haven't even been dominant in the Champions League either. They lost to an underperforming Lazio team in the round of 16 first leg and barely scraped past Arsenal, the club currently bottling the Premier League to Manchester City, who Real beat. Also, with Bayern already out of the DFB Pokal, it's clear that the Kane curse is fresh and will affect Bayern this season at least. Real have the better squad by far, and it'll be an easy win for Los Blancos, or at least not as difficult as Man City was. Then we'll get to Paris Saint-Germain, who will beat Dortmund in the semi-finals and face Real in the Champions League final. Unlike Bayern, PSG will be a hard team to beat. Mbappe, who is more than guaranteed to jump ship to Real Madrid, will want to end on a high note and win the one trophy that eludes PSG. He'll also want to display to his future club what they'll be getting first-hand. He's the current Champions League top scorer. There's just one problem for PSG. Real Madrid don't lose Champions League finals. They may have lost in the Copa del Rey to Atletico Madrid this season, but in all their seven Champions League finals since 2000, they have lost zero. Similar to Sevilla in the Europa League, Real always bring their A game for this competition. And considering they'll already be on their A game thanks to winning the league, they'll want the double and bring their A plus game. So what is Footballers Weekly prediction? If we are right, please make sure to tell your friends. So here it is, no more suspense. Expect a 1-0 victory with a fantastic goalkeeping display from Lunin and Bellingham coming in clutch to bring them the silverware. On the 1st of June 2024, Real will have number 15, numero 15, and then Jude Bellingham will become the first Englishman since Michael Owen to win the Ballon d'Or. The new Galacticos will achieve what the old ones couldn't. Maybe Fabrizio Romano will give us a shout out for this mind blowing prediction when it comes true. Real Madrid have the best squad in the world, and while they might not win a treble like Man City did last year, this double is enough to show Real is a force to be reckoned with, and add Kylian Mbappe to the equation, we might see another three-peat title win on the horizon. And that wraps up the video. We know what you're thinking. No, we want more. Don't worry. We'll be back soon with more football stories of emerging talents and rising stars. But before you leave, please leave your thoughts and predictions below in the comments. You know we always try to respond. So who do you think will win the Champions League and how will they win it? Will it be 1-0 Real? Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And for those who watched until the end, you might just win a prize from us if your prediction is right. Till next time, peace.